So we are reviewing a Nokia multimedia computer, uh, the portable tablet PC that Nokia is offering right now for the Sprint's WiMAX network. And uh, this is the review that just briefly covers some of the features of this device as well as its functionality and uh, you can see it on the screen right now. You have a sliding keyboard that backlights when it's dark or when you press any of the buttons. On the side of the device you see the charge jack as well as earpiece jack. This is the one of the speakers, the other one is located on the other side of the device. This is the adjustable leg that you can put it on with if you want to work in this mode, just put it on the desk. On the top of this tablet computer there are a number of buttons, one to maximize and minimize the application window, another one for the volume to decrease and increase it. In the middle the power button and on this side this is the button for you to see just having some problems with our camera. Uh, to see, uh, to block the keyboard and turn off the screen so you could actually put it into your pocket or a very nicely designed pouch that Nokia supplies together with this device. Uh, other things that are also in the box is a set of earphones for you as well as a microphone on it with a button so if you get a phone call and you are listening to the music you can quickly switch and talk um, tried it and it has really nice functionality and it's really easy to use and people do actually hear you pretty well. Another thing is the USB cable that you can connect to the computer and can actually browse the removable memory of the Nokia tablet computer as well as the memory card that you can also put inside and let me show you how you will do it. There is a small door over here which you can open and uh, put your memory card in here. We do actually have a memory card installed I think in there. Yes, so basically anything up to I believe 8 gigs that's what you can put in. And uh, let's take a look at what are the applications that are in this device. Now again this is the review of the WiMAX model, but we don't have the WiMAX coverage in New York, so we're just going to briefly go over uh, common features of this device, reviewing the web browser and the email client as well as the presence features and the internet telephony.